Minute, 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 minute. Library Minute. Hey kids, Mr. Brew here with your Library Minute. I'm coming to you today from my kitchen. And we're going to be talking about databases, how you access them, how you use them for your research. Let's go. So the reason you want to use a database instead of just a Google search is that the information is checked for accuracy in a database. That's really important when it comes to controversial topics because sometimes people will be dishonest if they're trying to convince you of their side of an issue. So databases are important. Uh, if you scroll down on the library canvas, you will see a link called Research Tools. Go ahead and click that. And the database we're going to look at today, focus on, is under the ISD databases. Um, you're going to need a username and password, which is right here, username Issaquah Schools, password Issaquah. That's because these are not free. We pay for these. Um, Issues and controversies is the one I want to focus on today. Go ahead and click that. And this is where the username and password comes in. Issaquah Schools is the username, password, Issaquah. All right. Now this has, if you don't have a topic yet, this is a really good place to find one because there are literally hundreds if not thousands of different topics on here. Um, let's look at one that seems particularly relevant right now. It's about mandatory vaccination. Should vaccination be mandatory? That means it's required that you get vaccinated. Go ahead and click on that. What I like about this is it gives you both sides of the issue. What do the supporters say? What do the opponents say? All right, and it gives you a long article, gives you charts and graphs, all kinds of information. Um, and if you want to use this in your research project, you're going to have to cite it. And the way you do that is there's a link called Page Tools. Go ahead and click on that. Oh, one thing you can do is you can also download it if you want, which is pretty cool. Uh, but to cite it, which means you give credit, you click Citation. And that's going to create the citation for you right here. And it's in the right format. It's MLA. You can copy that, paste it into your project. All right, that's important. Cite your sources. Okay, besides the pro con articles, we also have primary sources here, which could include, well, here's a statement from the Secretary of Health for Washington State. That seems pretty relevant. Uh, there are court cases, media, editorials, and news. News is also a good one for this kind of topic because this is all in the news these days when it comes to the COVID-19 vaccine. All right, so lots of different articles. If you can also narrow it down to the most recent ones, let's say in the past month, for instance. Okay. What you need to know about coronavirus right now. This is from today, January 11th. So if you were to click on that, you would get a news article from Reuters. And again, if you wanted to use it, you have to cite it. Go to Page Tools and Citation. Create your citation for you. Again, MLA format is what you want for these. Okay, that was issues and controversies. The other set of databases I want to show you is the King County Library System. So again, if you go back to Research Tools, here's a description of what the King County Library System has to offer and how you access them. You have to use a username and password. Your username is the number 411 plus your seven-digit student ID number. And your password or PIN is the last four digits of your student ID number. There's also another video right here, another library minute that will show you how to do that in detail. But if you click on this link, KCLS Databases, you're going to get all the ones that they have, which is, you know, a couple dozen data databases, a lot of them. One that I would recommend you use is Britannica Library. When you click on it, it's going to ask you to log in. And again, if you have a library card, you can use that. Otherwise, 411 plus your student ID number. 
and your pin is the last four digits. So let's say, let's try uh, young adults here. And let's say we wanted to get some more information, general information about vaccines, how they work. Maybe you don't know about that. So if we click on there, we're going to get an article about vaccines and how they stop diseases from spreading. So again, if you want to use this, you got to cite it. The way you do that is there's a little check mark up here. You click on the check mark and that will give you a citation. It does it for you automatically. Again, it's MLA style. You can copy and paste that into your paper. You guys, give me an email or message me through Canvas if you have any questions about how to access these databases and have fun researching. This has been your Library Minute live from my kitchen. I'm out. Library Minute.